No one starts open source feeling ready. They start when someone finally shows them the way. Winter of code is that moment. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a great initiative started by GDG Triple IT Kalyani. That is Winter of Code 5.0. Now talking about what is Winter of Code 5.0. So it is a three month duration open source contribution program organized by GDG Triple IT Kalyani and it is a GSOC inspired program. So when I say GSOC inspired, it is based on three things that you build in public, you learn through contribution and you grow through mentorship or improve through mentorship. So since it takes GSOC inspired, what is the difference in GSOC and winter of code? So the best thing about Winter of Code is that you don't need any prior experience related to open source contribution. You don't need a bunch of merged PRs with yourself. All you need is curiosity and consistency. That's it. Now talking about project timeline. So student applications are open till 31st of December. So if you have not registered for Winter of Code 5.0, make sure you do as soon as possible. After a student registration, inaugural ceremony is going to happen on 10th of January, where they are going to share details related to project, structure, and everything related to Winter of Code 5.2. After that, proposal document is to be written. The duration for it is from 10th of January to 20th of January. Here you have to tell about the project, your solution, your execution, everything related to it. After that, you have to make network and connect with all the peers that you have and the mentor that you have. So this community bonding phase is going to last from 25th of Jan to 31st of Jan. After that is going to be the actual coding phase. Here, a particular person is going to code up the solution. This phase is going to last from 1st of Feb to 15th of March. What's next? The mentor evaluation round. The mentors are going to actually evaluate your code on the basis of four criteria actually, we are going to discuss them later. And the last thing is closing ceremony is, that is going to happen on 10th of April. Now talking about selection process, there are four different criteria that are going to be considered for selection. And selection is going to happen on the basis of 100 marks and four criteria. So there is a split of 35 marks for technical clarity and technical knowledge that you have. So it involves actual technical knowledge that you possess, be it in terms of concepts, tools, and everything related to it. Next thing is project fit. The tech stack that you know, the concepts that you know, the expertise that you have, are those expertise aligning with the project that you have chosen? That is going to have 35 marks as well. Next is availability and communication. This criteria is going to have 10 marks. So you should be available as well as you should communicate properly in terms of the solution that you are providing. And the last thing is motivation and clarity. So motivation and clarity is going to have 20 marks. So these are the four criteria that they are going to consider for selection process. And what are the objectives of Winter of Code? So they are aiming at onboarding more than 15 organizations. They are aiming at bringing 2000 student contributors and retaining more than 40% post event, which means that more than 40% of the people should still contribute for these organizations even after winter of code 5.0 ends. Now the most important thing, why to join winter of code 5.0? So it's pretty simple. They are going to provide swags, goodies and special recognition to top contributors. But more importantly, just consider that you are very new to open source world. What's better way to learn about open source than contributing? And you are going to get free mentorship from the best people possible. What else? You are going to contribute in the actual repositories of the organizations. You are going to know how to test, how to deploy, how to actually document the things up, how industry works. I hope this video told you something new and Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get the similar content in your feed. Thank you.